Next step on our resetting of the entire physical space tour is the bathroom, which probably is the one that frustrates me the most. This is a pretty good day for the sink area, but usually it does have more clutter on it. We have everything in the drawers. It's chock a block full, but it's kind of hard to actually know where things go and find spaces for new items. The things in the shower are mostly fine, but I would like to go through and get rid of any of our empties, especially the ones kicking around in the bottom of the shower, which definitely should not be here. The real kicker though, is that not everything actually fits into the bathroom drawers. So doing a declutter is definitely needed. So the first step is to grab everything out of the bathroom and put it onto the bed. But because it's bathroom stuff, I don't really want anything leaking on my bed spread. So towels first, then transport all the stuff. Because we keep the majority of the stuff in the drawers in containers of some description, getting it out and putting it onto the bed was not a very long process. We decided to remove them in their containers so we kind of knew how things had gone into the drawers to start with. And also so we had a good idea of what containers we had to organize them back into come the end. Other items that we put onto the bed included any of the things that we want to go back into the bathroom, but don't currently have a space in there, mainly so that we could consider all of the items together. We also had a couple of items that don't typically go into the drawers of the bathroom, but still live in the bathroom. For instance, the bathroom scales, the bathroom bins, and a couple of other bits and pieces. But there were some things we elected to just keep in the bathroom. The towels are staying where they are because they are not being decluttered, and everything in the shower is wet, so I'd really rather not put that on the bed. But this is the collection of items that has come out of the drawer drawers and ideally wants to go back in the drawers or was on the floor because it didn't really have a home. Why are you in the corner? I am in the corner because I don't want to get in the way of filming. This is also where I sleep. <laughs> yeah, the bed's all mine. Everything the light touches, that is mine, Simba. What's our next step? We're going to get rid of some stuff. Yeah. Throw it out. For this step, we will need the fucker bucket, also known as Alan. And we're going to film up. This part of the process just involved picking each of the items up and considering them individually. Do we want to keep this? Some of the reasons for throwing items away would be that it's expired, that we don't use it, that there's realistically not enough of it left for it to actually be useful. We're also looking for duplicate items in this and whether those duplicate items are worth keeping. For the most part, they are. They are purchased because they're something that we use constantly. So having backups is a good idea, but there are some items that duplicates of are a little bit redundant. The nice part about doing this declutter on an annual basis is that you kind of remember what you kept last year, saying that you were going to use it and then didn't actually get around to using. We kept all these like sample things, some were like face masks, some were like skin stuff, and we're gonna use them in the next year and we didn't, so. Dead to us. <laughs> on multiple previous occasions, I've gotten into a really big like makeup kick, but I don't wear makeup. So we've got like all of these, lipsticks and lip glosses and whatever that I'm not going to use and these very cute press on nails that again I'm not going to use a bunch of eye stuff there are so many mascaras in this bag and a whole bunch of whatever else so I'm thinking I want to declutter this down to like one bag of stuff because at the moment it's taking up multiple of the little trays of things that we have hey Bubba why don't you wear makeup is that good? I'm be fucked. I thought it was because you were so beautiful without it. Oh, gag. <laughs> That's a Viva vagina. <laughs> Getting rid of the makeup was the most painful part of the bathroom declutter, mainly because I know how much I spent on those things. But I also know with them not being in the drawer anymore, now I won't have to look at them every day because every time I'd see them, it would be this kind of slight guilt feeling creeping in. If they're not there, I can't be reminded of that. So the temporary pain of having to let go of them versus the long-term pain of having to look at them every day. Overall, we come out with a net positive with getting rid of them. Another thing that we did as we went through was take any items out of their packaging within reason. You don't necessarily realize how much space is taken up by packaging until you take everything out of their packaging and then try and reorganize. Once we'd finished going through the items on the bed though, we went back into the bathroom to get rid of any of the empties in the shower. We very much have a tendency to just let empties kick around in the shower rather than taking them out and putting them into the recycling. Very much a negative habit that should be addressed, but that's a future me problem. With the bucket bucket looking a healthy amount of full, I tasked Vogel with cleaning out the drawers because if you're gonna remove all of the stuff, you might as well give them all a wipe down. And while he did that, I went back to the containers to see if there was anything I could rearrange in those. 
kind of do a little reevaluation of how the space was being used, how I might actually want to group things and store them. Not a lot changed because we did do a really good job of this last year, but it's always good to give yourself the opportunity to have a bit of a refresh. When it came to grouping the items, I mainly do it based on function or frequency of use. So for instance, anything that is teeth brushing related goes together. So that's spare toothbrushes, toothbrush heads, floss, spare toothpaste, anything like that. Once I was feeling good about how everything was grouped though, then it was time to put everything back into the bathroom. Now the aim of the game is to get all of this back into the drawers, not just some of it. I don't want this stuff stored in my closet if it doesn't have to be. In particular, I really like the stuff that we actually use the most in the drawers. So things like my hair dryer and hair straightener, although not used as much, they are more important than spare shampoo bottles. So if the spare shampoo bottles are taking up too much space, I would rather have my hair dryer actually accessible so I can dry my hair when I feel so inclined. Anywho, let's put it back. Starting with the lower drawer because I knew this was going to be the one that was going to give me the most grief. Ideally, this is where I wanna be storing my hair dryer. As mentioned, I don't really use my hair dryer all that much, but I use it even less because it's not actually stored in the bathroom. And one of the main issues with this drawer was how much space the shampoo bucket takes up. We were considering storing the shampoos in a different location, so not in the bathroom, maybe in the other guest bathroom, but ideally we would like to have everything in here if we can. Because we're using all of the same containers as we already had, remembering how they went back into the drawer was a little bit tricky, especially because I was using my phone to film, so I couldn't really just go and have a look at the previous footage and see where things went, but I did manage to get it back in in a way that made me pleased. Uh, obligatory rest break, you cutie. Thanks. So a couple of issues. One, the shampoos, there's just too many of them. It's not really a great use of the space. Two, we have a bunch of things that have cables that aren't very well stored. And so this is kind of the temporary arrangement we've got. But then three, we have this leftover container, which I feel like it just, it fits really nicely when it's in the drawer, but then the hairdryer doesn't fit. So maybe the shampoos have to come out so the hairdryer can fit. I don't know. Several months later. So team, we have decided to take this container out of the drawer. The reason being, Jess's hair dryer does not fit in the drawer because it's an L. This is clearly not an L. So to make that work, we have removed this, this container. Also, I think we get more stuff in without it. So the hair dryer and the hair straightener are over here with the hair dye packets, which will slowly get used over the next couple of months. But then all of the shampoos that were in that long ass tub are now in this one. So things are fitting a lot better. Continuing with the putting stuff back, the next stop was the vanity top. And this is reserved for any of the items that we use on a daily basis. We do try and keep the majority of other stuff off the vanity because we want it clear so that you can, I don't know, actually do stuff. But these organizers do a pretty good job of holding all of the more essential daily items. Once those were in though, it was time to remove any floor items from the bathroom so that Vogel could get in there and do a good vacuum. While he may not have much hair, I certainly do and it gets everywhere, so it was very nice to get all of that out of there. Ideally the bathroom also would have gotten a mop, but by this point we were both pretty much knackered. I hate you. What's wrong? This bit of shit. Why? What's wrong? It's not big enough. Yeah? We end up like hanging a rubbish bag off the little window hook. So we're not even using this bin for what it's there. In fact, the rubbish bag is in hiding because we don't want to show you that. But the bathroom is now effectively finished. I just feel so much better knowing that everything that we've kept is stuff that we're actually going to use now. We've not held on to things that are like, oh yeah, maybe we'll use it one day. Despite the fact that the drawers are still very full, they are actually less cluttered. And most importantly, my hair dryer and hair straightener are actually in the drawers as opposed to being somewhere else. Yes, we did end up still keeping our travel cases in our closet instead of in the bathroom, but that's all right. At least they're in the same place as our suitcases, so it kind of makes sense. Plenty more decluttering to still be done before the year is officially over, but if you enjoy decluttering content, then this playlist is the one to check out. We've got all of our previous decluttering videos in there to get ourselves cool, calm, and collected for the year ahead. So click or tap on that one, and I'll see you over there. Genuinely hard to get in this corner because I'm old and stiff. <laughs>